So what I want to know is why the hell y'all some wrong with these damn groups on Facebook. Now they be tripping. You got people that start the group and think just because oh uh, I started the group, I'm a founding member, I could talk to people, treat people, do people any kind of way I wanna do. Like what the hell? You trying to recruit more people into your damn group or get other members to recruit people into the group and then basically, without so many words or directly saying, just going around the bush, telling them, oh, everything, you can share, you can do what you want and share or whatever in here. So you share in the group. And then when you share, they make you feel like, oh, well, your post ain't wanted here. Your, uh, we don't need your opinion. We don't need nothing from you. So, I'm like, what's the point in being a goddamn group then? Like, it's just a waste of fucking space. Shit. You posting in a damn group. You in the group. They tell you you can post in the group. You can do this, that, and the third in the group. Just as long as it goes by group. Got groups, guidelines. So, you do that, and then it's like, oh, it's a fucking problem. So you made to take it down or whatever. They don't say take it down, but they come in on your post like, oh, da, 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 this, that, and the third. And then you got these other groups. Well, most people be like, okay, you in a group. Let's say like if y'all want to meet up, or you can't do that in the group. It's just to talk to people. So what the fuck is the group for then? If you can't get to know nobody. They say, oh, well, the group is to get to know somebody, to get to know people. But as soon as you start getting to know people and talking to people, they don't want you talking to nobody. Tell me, it, oh, the post you made is not about group, it's not abiding by groups, guidelines. No, you just don't want nobody talking to people. See, I done made a video like this several times, several months ago, maybe a year ago. That shit, but... Now this shit is ridiculous. You be these damn people be getting in goddamn groups. They be getting these damn groups, and when they start these damn groups, they start letting. It's just like people that work. They get a high, a little, get a little position here that that shit go to their head. They get let them get promoted to manager. That shit goes to their head. Like they start acting like they don't damn own them or who founded them. Somebody that founded the business. Like the person that found you just got a damn group. Nobody has to kiss your ass. You got a group on Facebook. It ain't like you own Facebook. It was just your idea to start a group. And you started a group. So that gives you a reason to start shit and talk to people like they stupid. Or make people feel like they not a part of the group. Since they don't post that, you don't contribute. So when you do post something, we're going to encourage you without whatever sometimes rudely encourage you sometimes nicely encourage you not to post anything or you know, pick out points in there about oh well this is what they tell and they tell but no see people don't like to read shit this is what i noticed about the other group that i was in about the astrological sign group i was in people don't read shit they just skim over and then want to get an attitude and come at you sideways then when you go back and point it out with the receipts of it, oh, I didn't, re I didn't know, I didn't know that, you was right, I'm sorry, or I didn't read that, you didn't know, you didn't read that part, you didn't read the whole damn thing, that's your fucking problem, people nowadays just skim over shit and then wanna point out shit, then say, oh, well, um, it wasn't, um, this, it ain't for this group, or you didn't see this, that, then they just pick out shit and start picking at people. I mean, it's weird and it's just stupid how you got people that just live for that type of shit. They live to pick at people. They live for negativity. They live for stupidity. They live for just bullshit. I mean, it don't make no damn sense. But hey, that's them in their life. They choose to live like that, go right the fuck ahead. I'm not finna to. Like I say, y'all don't have time for this bullshit. And like I said, what's the point? Or purpose in being in a group if you in a group and can't post nothing or you in a group and you just watching what everybody else posts. Hell, turn off the damn notifications in on uh, something shit. My next step, I'ma end up turning off the I'm gonna end up turning down the notifications if I can. So if anybody posts in that group, I'm gonna turn it down. That way I can still see it when I want to. But I gotta go to the group and look in there. Other than that, if that don't work, then I'm just turn off the notifications altogether. 
I'll still have to go in the group and look to see what's popped up. If not, that don't work and they still acting stupid. I'm just done uh, leave the group all together and start my own goddamn group. I have to, man, shit. Because this don't make no goddamn sense. You go to post stuff in a damn group. And they always make you feel, you always have to second guess yourself. Like, okay, or you have to put in a uh, description for it. I don't know if this has been posted before or by anybody. But they want to pick out one thing in the middle of the picture. They didn't even look at the front of the picture. So that, that goes to show you nobody reads fine print. Nobody reads a whole piece of paper or a whole post or a whole anything before they just go jump to sign something or jump to comment on something. Damn. Y'all trying to recruit people to your goddamn group. But then when people join your goddamn group, you got a problem. It's a problem when they try to interact with people in a group or try to be an actual part of the group. God forbid them trying to be a part of the group. Oh, it's a fucking problem now. Yeah, but it's going to be like they try to be a part of the group. It's basically like you saying sit your ass down somewhere with that shit. Nobody wants to see you or your post. No. That's okay. I would never be posting in that damn group anyway. Now I see why the girl, the girl say she don't post in the group. She just in the group to go and look in there and see what's going on and then come back out. Exactly. I do that shit too. That's what I do. I just go in there, look every now and again. I do that now. Go in there, look every now and again, see what's going on, and then shut the group down. Go on, continue doing what the fuck I was doing, whatever else on Facebook. Like I say, people got too much shit going on in their personal life already as it is. And then, too, we all dealing with this virus and all this extra stuff. To be worried about the bullshit of people that ain't got no life or ain't got shit to do since we in quarantine, ain't got shit to do. They can't take the anger and frustration out of nobody, so they find somebody online to take it out on. Ain't nobody got time for all that shit. Like I say, you're supposed to be damn grown-ass men and women. Why the fuck is we over here you got people over here acting like kids and acting like teenagers and acting like babies. Picking at people for no goddamn reason. Being online cyber bullies for no reason. But if you call them out on their shit, then you the one with the problem. You got issues. Oh, no, bitch. Oh, no. You're not finna do me. But, yeah, I'm gonna end this right here. I'm gonna see y'all later. Thanks for listening. Bye, y'all.